With the upcoming film, Godzilla, Monster Planet, about to debut on Netflix in November, I've been theorizing, how might the humans stand a chance against him in this film? We know that the plot revolves around them seeking revenge on the monstrous beast, the largest Godzilla yet, I might add. So I've compiled some research, and I found some startling facts. Check this out. A hydrogen bomb is damn powerful. Compared with the atomic bomb, the hydrogen bomb can be far more powerful by 1,000 times or more, experts say. Atomic bombs rely on fission or atom splitting, just as nuclear power plants do. But a massive amount of megaton power will be able to blast Godzilla at a devastating rate, potentially ripping the skin off of his skeletal structure. Now, an interesting thing about this upcoming Godzilla is that he's going to be relatively plant-based. His bodily structure is going to be a fusion with other organic matter. I speculate this is because he has dwelled on the planet for 20,000 years after the humans have left. Therefore, his adaptive traits and abilities have changed some since their disappearance, as the environment itself is now facing some drastic changes without humanity on the planet. With this being noted, I wonder if Godzilla is going to be more susceptible to fire, to where the humans could utilize this exploit to their advantage if they desire to bring down Godzilla. Perhaps, upon returning back to the Earth, the humans decide to burn the whole damn place down in the hopes of destroying Godzilla. It's going to be overcome with vegetation, almost entirely. Imagine 20,000 years without a human civilization active. Just the plant life taking over vast regions of the Earth. It's going to be the perfect equation for disaster once you implement a human animal bent on the destruction of Godzilla. One might argue the humans could equip themselves with loads of assault rifles with the aims of just blasting the shit out of him. Most likely this would not be effective, as I imagined they tried these means before they had to evacuate. And we've seen in several previous Godzilla films, mere weapons such as guns had next to no offense against the mighty Kaiju. With the right technology, the humans might attempt to control the weather or other external environmental factors, such as volcanoes, or even this, they could attempt with laser technology to heat up the core of the Earth, to the point of which it activates the volcanoes all around the globe, causing eruptions and major earthquakes, greater natural disasters than the Earth has ever seen before. Might that be enough to destroy the monster? It seems to me that it might be worth such an attempt. As we know, Godzilla, so it seems, is continually growing, continually becoming more of a threat toward the humans. He already drove them off their home planet. What could possibly come next? It seems fit that they must destroy him at any means necessary. But what do you guys think? Are the humans going to be able to destroy Godzilla without destroying the Earth? And how might they go about to do this? Let me know in the comments section below, and like this damn video if you haven't yet. I am the Iceman. More videos to come.